So like many of you guys, I have multiple sets of tools. Uh, for the purpose of my YouTube videos, you guys probably only really see my iFixit set. Uh, but I mean, like I have dedicated standalone drivers for some stuff. Uh, a lot of these pre-exist the iFixit set, but I, I don't know. The, the, the lesson is, you know, it's, it's always best to use the proper tool for the job. Um, it, it's always such a pain in the butt to try and work around using the incorrect tool. And uh, so that's where, that's where these come in. So I have two wrenches before you, one of them notably higher quality than the other. Uh, one of them also totally busted. Um, so I have multiple sets of like hand tools and wrenches and stuff because you know like I, I do work on cars, work around the house, stuff like that. I have this extraordinarily cheap Harbor Freight set that I bought it. It was three dollars. It came with a came with a whole bunch of sockets and stuff. And you know what? For three bucks, it was worth it. I don't care what anyone says. Uh, but I just I keep it in the box with my hobby RCs, and then I can use this to wrench on those. I'm very confident in my ability to not break a cheap wrench on a on a plastic scale RC. And you know what? This wrench has been absolutely fine for that. But this wrench, the Craftsman wrench, has been in my car tool set, as in, you know, full size car. Um, and today I did something really stupid with it because I thought it would be easier to work with what I had instead of getting the proper tool for the job. So long story short, you will save yourself time, you will save yourself money by just getting the proper tool and using that for the job. So in this particular case, uh, I have either broken off one of the, um, the levers, whatever you want to call them inside, or broken off some of the teeth on the actual ratchet itself. And it does still kind of work. Uh, I didn't test it as well as I should have, but Story time, I guess. Um, so I have a, uh, I have an older truck. I have a 1993 Ford Ranger that I bought for real cheap because I wanted a project vehicle. Well, as it turns out, I don't have the space or time for a project vehicle, so I've been doing the absolute bare minimum on it to just keep it running. And uh, I've been letting my parents bother it, borrow it lately because they just got a new place. They're moving. It's a truck. It's convenient. Um, it threw a U-joint while my stepfather was trying to pull stuff out of storage. And, uh, for those that don't know what that means, um, it means the drive shaft was extraordinarily unstable. Now, it didn't, I say it threw a U-joint, but really it just threw one of the caps or one of the bearings on the U-joint. Uh, so the drive shaft was just rattling around in the thing. After some roadside investigation, we had determined that the center, central carrier bearing, whatever the hell it is, uh, had gone out very long time ago. And surprisingly, we, we thought the shaking was coming from something else, but I guess in hindsight, it makes sense. Um, anyway, because that bearing had gone out, it had thrown the U-joint way out of whack and every, every single rotation, the drive shaft was doing something like this because... It's a two-piece drive shaft, of course. I don't know what the hell they were thinking. Anyway, besides the point, um, to pull the drive shaft, to replace those bearings, to repair it properly, I had to remove the rear axle bolts that connect the drive shaft to the uh, differential on the rear, um, on the rear axle. And for those that are looking at the wrench in my hand, and for those that know exactly what I'm talking about, you probably know exactly what I did. Um, if you don't have the leverage with the tool that you're using, it's not the right tool. Uh, <laughs> so long story short, I got the right socket on there, put the wrench on, didn't quite have the leverage, uh, so I stood on the tool. Well, the bolt did not move, but the wrench did, and uh, I, I, I killed the wrench. We did end up getting the bolts off later with another wrench that my stepfather happened to have on hand, um, but a breaker bar would have been the proper tool of choice. Anyway, let's do an autopsy. That's that's all I wanted to do here. Let's 
let's see how I mess this thing up. So you can see some of the shards. You can see these shavings in here. Those aren't supposed to be in there. And look at all those broken teeth. Mmm. So, yeah. I killed this thing. I am genuinely surprised that... Oh, yeah, that's broken too. So you can see on this side, if I hold that at the right angle, all those teeth are nice and intact. I can get the lighting at a better angle. There we go. But if I flip the switch, flip it over to that way, you can see nice big chunks missing off those teeth. So at the end of the day, um, this really isn't that big of a deal because... Yes, this is a much higher quality, much more expensive wrench than the cheapo Harbor Freight one that I have. But this is still only like a $10 wrench. Like I could just buy another one. Um, but luckily, it's a Craftsman. I can just pop on down to my local Sears and get an... Oh, wait. Yeah. No, I'm kidding. Um, Sears may be gone, but I believe Ace Hardware still warranties these things. And if not, like I said, it's a cheap wrench. I can get another one. It's not It's not the end of the world. But lesson B, use the proper tool for the proper job, for the job, and you will have so many fewer problems. The reason I wanted to make this video, and uh, I know this is pretty off topic for what usually shows on my channel, because I don't think there's a single Game Boy mod that you need a socket wrench for. Uh, my tool of choice for Game Boys is, of course, this iFixit set. And believe me, I'm not sponsored by either Craftsman, Harbor Freight, or iFixit. Whatever. Um, I just think this is the best set for the job. Because for Game Boys in specific, a lot of people don't realize this. They think the Phillips, the crosshead bits on the bottom of the Game Boys are Phillips. They are not. They are JIS drivers. Uh, JIS screws. And that's where these J000, J00, J0, and J1 bits come in. These are by far the best bits for the crosshead bits on a Game Boy. Um, I haven't stripped a screw since I got this iFixit set, as long as I actually bothered to get the proper screw driver for the problem at hand. But the point is, you know, I spent 30 bucks on this iFixit set, and I haven't had a single problem with script screw, stripped screws in a Game Boy, Nintendo DS, Switch, whatever, since I had it. I tried getting away with using this wrench, and, I mean, luckily the truck is fine. The truck didn't give it two hoots what I did with it. But now I'm down a wrench, and my tool set didn't include adapters. This was my only wrench out working on the truck in this size. I couldn't do what I needed to do because I broke my only tool. Um, we did get it eventually, like I said. My stepfather, <laughs> my stepfather actually had uh, you know story time because I'm sure you guys are here around for that. My stepfather had one of these cheapo Harbor Freight wrenches that he had apparently left outside for a year and was totally seized up on the inside. Uh, we put the socket on that, put a pipe on it, and got all the bolts off, and it worked great. Uh, but for putting it back together, I will need to go uh, pick up a torque wrench. I'm fine with that. I understand. You know, I instinctively, I know that you should use the proper tool for the job instead of trying to struggle. You know, if you don't have time to fix it right, when will you? So, I don't know. It's just, it's, it's a lesson that I've tried to instill onto others, and yet I still have yet to learn it myself and internalize it. So... I don't know, this is just my way of saying, look, I make mistakes, I get it, we're human, move on, but, you know, be smart about it. If you, As long as you learn from your mistakes, you know, there's still value in that. So, I, I don't know, that's that's all I got. Um, I hope this was helpful, or if not helpful, at least entertaining. Um, you can see the uh, remnants of my poor wrench here. Uh, I'm going to try and go get another one tomorrow. Uh, maybe they'll warranty it for me. Eh? If not, whatever, I'll just buy another one. It was, it was my, my mistake that broke it, so I'm not too concerned about a warranty anyway. But anyway, that's all I got. Thanks for sticking with me, and I'll catch you all next time.